Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of uh, Chemistry and of course today we are going to looking at uh, continue our study uh, of what of organic compounds all right organic chemistry and specifically today we are going to be looking at reason why uh, organic compounds are grouped into what families okay reason why they are what grouped into where I where I seen them why 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 we are, why we are discussing homologous series okay family of organic compounds why are organic compounds grouped into what uh, into families all right so i'm going to see the reasons why organic compounds are grouped into families in this episode do not forget to like this video do not forget to what to subscribe do not forget to what to keep sharing this video to your friends and loved ones all right so and of course this tutorial is brought to you by the old 3 school jump app if you don't have that app you are doing yourself waiting no good all right so please go to play store download the app it's out it has all the past questions that you need for your exam as a classroom that's lecture notes so you don't need textbooks structured according to the jump syllabus the lecture notes there they are just exactly according to what jumps say you should study all right then of course you have what question start feature you can search for question on the app and of course the question that jamba set on other topic will come up for you to answer then there's the mock utme challenge every saturday compete with your mate thousands of other jam by to compete with me thousands of other jam that you watch you win amazing prizes get you to jump past and likely exam questions why is more is that what you see your result release every Saturday. So you are able to, to track your progress and able to build your confidence towards the main exam. And you know what they fear when they say jam don't release the result, which is no good. All right. So please let's go ahead and what download the application and start practicing. Activation is just for a little fee. So please pay the sacrifice, activate. Now we're looking at what the reason why what uh, organic compounds are grouped into families. Okay, first point you need to notice that organic compounds are so numerous. Organic compounds are so so what many, right? And that accounts for the reason why what they are grouped into what into families. Okay, the reason why they are grouped into what homologous what series according to what similarities in their what in their properties. Okay, so we group what family of what of compounds according to similarities in their what in their properties because what they are so what many. They are so 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 what many. All right, that is why of course sometimes even in your school you see that you have class A, you have B, you have C. Okay, SS one A, SS one B, SS one C. Okay, because people are too many, you know, one class cannot contain people, so you are grouped. All right, you are grouped. So the reason why we group organic compounds is because they are so numerous. They are so numerous. All right, and the similarities Similarities in properties that we're talking about are what I'm going to also what discuss in this what episode. Okay, so first of all, number one, reasons why organic compounds are grouped into families. Okay, so and of course the uh, the the similarities in properties is what we are going to look at today. Number one, let us see those similarities in properties. Similarities in properties. All right, the number one, all members right have what a general formula. Okay, all members of a homologous series have what a general what formula. All right, let's put that down. Number one. All members, okay, conform to a general formula, okay? That is what the general, what the, what the various molecular formulas, that means the, the, the molecular formula of what the compounds in a particular family or that can be found, okay, using what the general formula for that word, for that family, all right? So that's why I say that all members, they conform to a general formula. Okay, for example, example of a general formula is what? Is CN, H2N plus 2 for what? For the alkanes. This one is for alkanes. Okay, another one is what C and H two N. We have seen it before, all right? For the word for the alkenes. Okay, these are what these are general word formula. So we can now find what define the members of what of these alkenes. Okay, for what for methane. Okay, ethane, butane, propane, and so on and so forth. All right. So also for the alkenes also. Okay. So this general formula from this general formula we can deduce what the word the molecular formula can do what the formula for what each of the members. From the general formula, okay, that means that what the uh, the various what molecular formula can be deduced, okay, from what from this general what formula. So this is one of the similarities and properties I'll talk about for homologous what series. All right, the the mem 
pass or conform to a general formula. All right. Now, there's usually a general method of preparation for all members. This number two, there's usually what a general method of preparation for all members. Number two, there is usually a what a general method of preparation for all members of a homologous series. Okay, so there's usually what a general method of preparation. There's usually a general method of preparation for all members of a what homologous what series. Okay, because what they show what similar what chemical what properties. Okay, because they show similar chemical properties. There's usually what a general method I can use what for preparing what every member of what of a homologous what series. All right, so that is that for that. That's number two. There's usually a general method for preparation. For all members of what homologous was series. Then the members of homologous series show similar chemical properties, like I've talked about. Okay, they show what similar chemical properties. The members, number three, the members of a homologous series show similar chemical properties. Okay, show similar chemical what properties. All right, so that's another what uh, similarities in what in property are looking at. So all members conform to general formula. There's usually a general method for, of preparation for all members of a homologous series, and then say all the members of a homologous series show similar what chemical what properties. All right, and of course successive members, successive members of a homologous series differ from the next by a methylene group. Successive members of a what homologous series differ. Okay, from the nest by what? By a methylene what group? This is called a methylene group. M Y M E T Y L E N methylene what group? Okay, a methylene group is what? Is a is a carbon atom that is bonded bonded to what? Two hydrogen atoms. All right, that is what a methylene what group? Okay, we say what successive members okay of a homologous series differ from the nest by what a methylene group, or you can say by a mass by a mass. Of what of 14 units. Okay, because if you calculate the mass of this CH2, carbon is what is 12. All right, H is what is one. So one times two. That is two. So 12 plus what plus two. That is what 14 what units. So that's why I said that associating members, okay, of a homologous series differ from the nest by a methylene group or by a mass of what of 14 what units. Okay, so that is how that. So for example, let us consider let's say propane and butane. Okay, propane, which is what? Protect, propane is C3H8. Okay, butane is what? C4H10. Okay, this is what? Propane. And this is what? Butane. All right? So, this is what? That is propane. That is what? Butane. Okay? So, now, let us see. We say successive members. This is the third one, third arcane. This is the fourth what arcane. Okay? So, we say that what? That successive member differ from the nest by a methylene group, CH2, or by a mass of what? Of 14. This means that what? C4H10. This means that what? C4H10. That is butane. And minus what? The propane, C3H8, should give us what? CH2. All right? Let us see. Will, that, will, will it not be C4 minus C3 is what? C, okay? Uh, H10 minus H8 is what? Is 2, okay? So, successive so member divide from each other by a methylene group. That is correct. And also by a mass of what? By a mass of what? Uh, 14 units, like we said. The molecular mass of what? Uh, C of butane is what? Is 58, if you calculate. All right? The, the carbon is what? Carbon is uh, 12. C is 12. So, uh, 4 of it, 4 times 12 is 48. Plus 10, 58. Then that of uh, propane, 36 plus what? Eight, that is what? 44. If you subtract 58 minus 44, what? 14 units also. Okay, that's why I say that successive members, okay, of your homologous series will differ from the nest, okay, by a methylene group, which is what now? CH2. All right, so likewise, as the number of carbon atoms, Okay, as the number of carbon atoms, okay, that is what the length of all of the carbon chains. As the number, let me put that one down because it's very, very important that we know that. Okay, as the number of carbon atoms, that is the number, number, number four, that's also number five now, I don't put number four down, as the number 
of carbon atoms. Okay, that's we're talking about the length, length of what of the carbon chains. As the length of what the carbon chains increase, as the length of what of the carbon chains increase, right? So also the what they are volatile, they are what they are boiling points, their melting points, and their densities increase. So also, also does their boiling points, melting points. And densities increase. Okay, we say as the number of carbon atoms, that is the length of carbon chains, as the length of carbon chains increase, so also does their what their boiling point, their melting point. So we're talking about homologous series now. Okay, as the number of carbon atoms, okay, or length of carbon chains in the homologous series increase. All right, so does their boiling point, melting point, and what density what increase. All right, conversely, 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 they are what volatility and solubility decrease. All right? So take note of that. As the number of carbon atoms, as the length of carbon chains, okay, increase, so does their, what, their boiling point, their melting point, and their density is what increase. Okay? But re conversely, their, what, their volatility and what solubility what decrease. Okay? Now, let me explain that in what in full term. All right, so now let us consider. Let us consider. Let me wipe the box so that we we'll we'll, we'll see what some, uh, the meaning of what this number five. Okay, we we'll say as the number of what carbon atoms, okay, that's the length of what carbon chains, okay, of organic compounds. Generally, you generally as the number of what carbon atoms or the length of carbon chains, all right, increase. So also does their what boiling point, melting point, and what and densities what increase, all right. So and as as they reduce, also does their volatility and what and well, solubility what decrease. Okay. So now let us see. Now let us see. Okay. So let's say we have a we have a butane C H three. Okay. Or oh, let me just say H three C C C C. All right. Then I have C H three. This is butane, right? Then let us say we have this is compound A. Let's say we have another compound, uh, H three C C C C C C C. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. Then how about, uh, okay, let me just say CH3 here. Yeah. This is what? Pentane. Okay. This is butane. C3H8. This is what? C4 what? H10. Let's say we have another one. C. Uh, C. H3C. C. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, one, 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 okay, uh, H3, CH3, all right, this is what, uh, uh, this is CT66, that's what, exam, this is exam, all right, then of course, let us now have one more last one, okay, I need space, okay, let me not clean, or let me clean this, let me clean all these ones, okay, then let us have one more compound, let's now have this one, uh, the third one, H3C, okay, now C, 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 CH3, okay, CH3, then I have H here, all right, so uh, this, this, all right, so now, if I have something like this, okay, there's no need to put the H there, all right, so now, this is also what, exam, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, this is what, one, two, three, four, five, six, all right, now, let us see, let us read it again, we said, we say as number of carbon atoms, that is the length of carbon chains increase, so also does their boiling point, their melting point and densities what increase, all right? So the longer the carbon chains, right, the higher their boiling point, their melting point and densities, okay? And of course, the longer the carbon chains also, the shorter their what, sorry, the lower their what, their volatility and what, and solubility. Clear now, right? So now, two things. The longer their chains, right, the higher their boiling point, their melting point and density. The longer their chains also, their what? The lower there will be a decrease in their what volatility and what and solubility. Let us compare what these two. 
A and B, all right? This is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is a chain of what? Of five carbon, of five carbon atoms, all right? This one is a chain of four carbon atoms. What we mean is that what? That this B, we have what? Higher boiling points, okay? Higher melting points and higher density than one than A. All right, because what well, this one has five what carbon atoms in the what in the straight chain. All right, why well, this one has what well, four carbon atoms in the straight chain. All right, so now because the higher their what the length of their carbon chains, the higher their boiling point, melting point, and density. All right, now also let us consider another one. Let's a, let us look. Let us look at what C and D. Let us look at C and D now. All right, this one how many carbon atoms are here? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many carbon atoms are here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, but still. Okay, but still, all right, this one has what a longer chain. This one is branched. Okay, this one is branched there. Yeah, we we'll branch this one, but this one is what it's a straight chain. Okay, so we say the length, the strong, the longer the length, the length of all of their carbon chains, okay, the higher their what their, bo their boiling point, melting point, and then so this means that what now C, for example, compound C, we have what more boiling points, more melting point, and what and more density than what than what this compound what D. Okay, so please take note of that. All right, so that's why I say that as the number of carbon atoms, that is the length of the carbon chains of organic compounds, increase, so also does the boiling point, melting point, and density what increase. And conversely, the longer their chains, right, the what the lesser their what their volatility and solubility. All right, in water. Okay, so now let us now see that. Uh, let us see the last what the last uh, uh, deduction we can make from here. The last was similarity that we are going to work get is what members of homologous series are named in the same way. For example, all alkanes, all alkanes, okay, ends with what? With aim. That's why we see what? That's why I see uh, methane. That is methane. That's why I see butane, the N. That's why I see propane, the N. That's why I see what? The, uh, the heptane, the N. That's why I see the nonane, the N. Okay, all of them, members of what? Of homologous series, what? Have what? They are named in the same way. They are named in the same way. Okay? That is what that. These are the deduction we have made. Okay, we have talked about what the reason why was organic compounds. Okay, are classified into what families. All right, because there are so many, so it is easier for us for us to be able to, able to identify them. All right, it's good that what we want to classify them according to what to families. All right, and then we will talk about the similarities. Okay, that was uh, similarity in properties. Okay, we we'll talk about a general formula and so many other things that we have looked at. Okay, now that means that what we talk about what that branching. We say what well, branching, branching in Increases what volatility. Take take that as a take home. Okay, when what organic compounds are branched, okay, it increases their what their volatility. It increases or it enhances their what their volatility. All right, because remember we said in that last point that what that the longer the what the chains okay of carbon atoms. All right, the the higher their what their boiling point, their melting point and density. But the longer the chains also the lower their what they are volatility and what solubility in water okay that means that what if they are branched they will have higher solubility than when they are what in a what in a stretch in a straight long chain okay that means a branching branching enhances volatility all right so please take that as a what as a take home and i'll see you in the next episode all right thank you for watching